Welcome to the Cross Border Interview Signature Series, where we sit down with musicians from across the musical spectrum and talk to them about their latest song. Today, we welcome country music artist Jeff Cato to the show. Jeff, welcome to the show. I'm looking forward to our conversation. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for having me. Um, so, Jeff, let's talk about your newest song, Run to You. I've been listening to it on repeat for the last about 48 hours. And uh, I can tell you it has spoken to me then more ways than you could probably imagine. Where did this song come from? Uh, well, because my so I am married with uh, six kids and um, doing what I do isn't easy for for my family. It's it's never been easy. Um, I've been doing uh music in general uh since i was about 16 um 36 now so that's it's quite a few years uh, to be doing this and um uh you know my my wife has been uh such a huge supporter uh and and rock for me and um you know sometimes i think that that it's important for us to be able to to tell our loved ones that you know at the drop of a dime all the stuff that we're doing all the all the music all the dreams that we're chasing those things are uh you know they're you know they're, they're important they're important it's important to chase your dreams but also your family is way more important the people that that love you the, the ones that you'd rather be be with on, out on the road um you know like when when i'm away from my kids that I, at all or my wife for any period of time it's always like man i can't wait to come home um so that's kind of where the song the song was written from and um because <laughs> you know it and, and and honestly, man, it, it like uh, there have been times when when I know it's so hard, you know, I know it's hard being with somebody uh, like myself. So, um, yeah, it, it's such a, a, a unique song, particularly in this hyperbolic era that we live in, where everyone's rushing to try and find their fame. Right. They're trying to find their 15 minutes of fame. But you're saying, you know what? At the end of the day, what's most important to me is family. Is this life imitating art? Did you find yourself when you were writing the song or even before writing the song going, you know what? I, I need to chase the fame. But at the end of the day, the family entity is the most important part of my life. You know what? I could give away my uh, music fame tomorrow. If I had my family, that's all that would be required for me to be a happy man. Yeah, and, and don't get me wrong, Chris, man, I, I am a huge um, dream chaser. Like, I I believe that everybody has a gift. Everybody has something in them that, that makes them get up in the morning. And and um, and I've, I've tried to put music down in the past, and it's been something that's been hard to do uh, when it's just something that's not for the right reasons. And, you know, your family every time is the right reason to do so, you know, even if it's a pause. Right. Like I, I took a, I took a bit of a pause uh, to make sure that, you know, I recently had, I moved out to, to Alberta from Ontario and um, and, you know, I took a little pause because it's a big transition. Um, and sometimes you got to do that and uh, and put everything on hold. So I, I think that uh, when I wrote this song is when is when that transition happened and and you kind of go, OK, uh, this is what's important right now. Not not going out and, and chasing the dream, not doing those things, but. Um, so I definitely don't want to put down chasing dreams. Got to do that. Got to, got to like have that, that, uh, that energy and that, that love for what you want to do in life. But yeah, my family's always number one. Why is it important to sort of chase your dreams? Because you, you write this song and you listen to the lyrics and you I tried to dissect what you're trying to say here. And you kind of say, at the end of the day, if you call me, I'm I'm coming home to you. I'm I'm turning the car around. I'm turning the bus around, and I'm coming home to you. Why is family so important to you? Because it seems like you're telling a story, and I've listened to some of your previous uh, songs as well. Family is really important to sort of your songwriting, but also to who you are as an artist. Uh, I mean, I love my kids, man. I grew up with two parents that were. Um, well, my parents were divorced at a young, uh, at a young age for me. Um, but I was really close with both, both of them. My dad always, uh, you know, any chance he got, he came and he picked me up, even if it was two and a half hours away in a snowstorm, that guy came and got me. And, um, so, you know, family and, and my kids and, and my wife are, are hugely, uh, uh, like important to me. They, they're the reason why, you know, everybody always goes, Oh, well, you have such a huge why as to why you do uh, things and, and why you work hard and why you do these things. And, and it's, it's true, you know, um, I couldn't imagine 
uh, getting up tomorrow and not having a bunch of laughter and craziness going on in my household. So I want to talk about your songwriting style, because I want to know from you, when you were writing this song, particularly in that period when you were moving from Ontario to Alberta, what what came first? Was it something that sort of sparked in you that said, OK, I want to run back, run to my wife. I want to run to my family. Or was it the sort of the melody that came first and then later on the lyrics? What was the style to write Run to You? So I, I always write with a guitar in hand. Um, okay. so, uh, so, so, t- so typically, typically if I sit down to write, it's, um, it's melody and lyrics at the same time. Um, I've never been really good at, at just like creating lyrics and, and, um, and then sitting down after and, and put a melody to it. So, I uh, yeah, no, it, it all comes at once for me, Chris. I, I just sit, sit down and, and hammer out a song and usually, usually I'll write something, at least the, the basis of it within you know 20 minutes or so and then i'll come back and and realize that there's a lot of crap to that (laughs) and then rewrite it and rewrite it again and uh before i have an actual finished product but yeah so you're starting 2023 off with this song uh your new ep neon cathedrals if i'm not mistaken is not released yet it's going to be released here in 2023 i'm assuming it is, yeah, yeah. I've actually got, I've probably got about three different projects that are going to be released, <laughs> uh, kind of one after the other. Um, but uh, but yeah, no. So Neon Cathedrals uh, is is uh, going to be a six or seven song EP, and uh, I guess album. I guess they they call they call it that these days. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for 2023. I took a, like I said, I took a little bit of a break, a little bit of a pause just to kind of get my family together and, and figure out uh, uh, how to make sure that everybody was good here. And um, man, I'm excited. There's, um, there's a lot of excitement already. I think the song is almost at 20,000 streams and it's been a week and a half. Uh, and so the response, the, the response has been nuts. It's been great. So I'm really so- excited to go for it to go to radio. It's uh, January 16th is when it hits radio. So. Oh, so the Monday after we release this interview, it will be going to radio. So to call into your radio stations across Canada and make sure you request request run to you for sure. That'd be great. Um, but my last question, because we are sort of in this unknown that is 2023. We're starting out here. You say you have lots of projects underway. Um can we see some touring potentially in the future for Jeff or is, is getting the other projects uh, under the, his belt first and then touring later on in the year, or what's going to happen or are we already planning the, the tour across Canada? Actually, Chris, all the, uh, all the music's already done for all these projects. Oh, you know, it's, uh, it's one of those things. So I, I write, I write consistently and I, and I, uh, and I produce consistently. Um, so I've got, I've got a I've got a ton of songs that are just waiting to be released out to the world that uh um sometimes sometimes it's a hindrance because you can only do so much. You can only release so many things and it's all strategy, right? So uh so yeah, so I've got all these songs ready to go. Uh the plan is to be is to be playing playing music this uh this year, the spring and summer. Um I'm uh, I'm looking at doing some some dates with a few other uh artist friends and and uh yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun filled 2023 uh very excited about about what's in store so where can people find you where can people reach out to you follow your music listen to run to you how besides requesting it on the radio stations how can people uh find you sure so uh you can look me up on spotify if you want to be listening to or spotify apple I mean, if you want to buy it, uh, go ahead and, and buy it on Apple. Um, iTunes, uh, just under Jeff Cato, uh, J-E-F-F-C-A-T-T-O, uh, and Run To You. And then you can do the same thing with Spotify. And my website is uh, just jeffcato.com. And then if you're looking to follow me on social media, um, you can enter in my handle of Mr. Jeff Cato, uh, and you'll be able to find me on there. I'm not on Facebook. I uh, kind of... Uh, when I took my break, I got off there and kind of did a reset altogether. And uh, and man, if you've never tried doing a doing a social media reset, I highly recommend it. Like what a what a mental break of of just being able to pause it and not have to to check it out. But 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 I, I am on there, 
so please do uh like look me up and follow me and and uh and all my antics and all the stuff that i do I you you're preaching to the choir here a little bit because I'm a big proponent against social media. You have to do it as an artist, as a show like mine. But at the end of the day, I, I've done a reset. I've taken all the social media apps off my phone and I don't do it because I want to live in the moment. I want to live in the moment that we are currently in. Um, but Jeff, um, thank you so much for doing this. This is an honor and pleasure. Like I said, uh, you, you kind of have a new fan in uh, Northeast Calgary uh, of me because I've been listening to run to you over and over again, because it's such a unique catchy tune that anyone as you're listening to it can get something out of it, particularly if you have a family and as someone who does, I, I listen to it over and over again. And I think, you know what, I could give it all up tomorrow and run back to my, my house, my family, and just, be happy with them. Well, thanks, Chris. I really appreciate that. So with that, I want to say to everyone, if you want to follow Jeff, you want to listen to the song, the links are in the show notes. So scroll down, check out the links, follow Jeff on social media. As much as I say, get off social media, get check him out, follow him because we need to start uh, supporting Canadian artists, especially, particularly in this time. So with that, Jeff, thank you so much for doing this. This has been an honor and pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, thank you, sir. So with that, have yourself an excellent day. We'll be back for another episode of the Cross Border Interview Signature Series later next week. Talk to you later.